Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss. Up to now, we have some formulas. So we will discuss some detailed analysis the, about the formulas. Then we will discuss some problems regarding these formulas. The first is the NS. NS equal 120F by phi. So up to now, we discuss the NS is nothing but the synchronous speed. Synchronous speed. So what is synchronous speed? Synchronous speed is nothing but directly 120F by P. What is P? P is the supply frequency. Because in the three phase induction motor itself, we are giving the supply that will depends on the supply frequency. What is the P here? Number of poles of induction motor. Number of poles of induction motor. That is the P. And next, next is the slip. Next is the slip. You know the slip is the phenomena that will give the ratio of the ratio of difference between the synchronous speed to induction motor speed to and the rotor speed. Here slip S you know that the slip is the term that will be very much useful. It is useful to find out the speed useful to find out the speed so the rotor speed of induction motor will depend on the slip as well as the synchronous speed we can find out the synchronous speed by using the field by using the frequency and the number of poles then we will easily find out this okay so this is the importance generally slip value is 1% to 3% is available that is the slip value is 0 0.01 to 0 0.03 this is the value of the slip next the state or frequency what is the state or frequency you know we are this is the state or initially we are giving the state or state or frequency means the applied frequency to the state or generally so state or frequency is f f is nothing but the supply frequency f you know that the supply frequency because supply is given to the stator supply is given to the stator that's why the stator frequency is nothing but the supply frequency directly and next next what is the rotor current frequency the rotor current frequency rotor rotor currents have some frequency that frequency is represents by fr equal slip times of frequency this is very very important thing the rotor frequency depends on the slip times of frequency but what about stator frequency stator frequency directly it is a supply frequency there is no problem with the stator frequency so generally the induction motor have behave, behaved on different different speeds at starting at starting generally induction motor is doesn't have any speed that is the zero that is the zero then what is the slip slip is ns minus zero by ns then slip is become one then whatever rotor frequency rotor frequency equal one into f one into f means the finally the rotor frequency will be equal to the state or frequency both the frequencies will be same at the starting condition starting condition itself it is in stand state position stand state position means there is no next if the rotor have with some speed the speed is less than synchronous speed if the rotor is rotates with the synchronous speed then directly we can write directly that is the slip equal to ns minus nr by ns so that's why the rotor frequency equal we can write directly ns minus nr by ns into the state or frequency directly we will give this value directly we will get this value for example if the rotor is rotate with the synchronous speed practically it is not possible but just assume for our theoretical things just assume it is rotated with the synchronous speed then what about slip slip is we can find out ns minus ns by ns 
and what is the slip value slip values become zero then what about rotor frequency the rotor frequency equal to zero into zero into stator frequency then the rotor frequency will become the zero then the rotor frequency will become the zero so at the synchronous speed at the synchronous speed it is not possible to generate the speed the rotor frequency is the zero okay so what is why why it is zero because there is no relative speed between the stator and the rotor stator and the rotor that's why it become the zero next next point is emf induced in the rotor emf induced in the rotor is represented by e2 always keep in your mind the one r one always related to the stator parameters or otherwise you will specify the yes yes to always represent the rotor parameters otherwise you specify r so these all are the rotor parameters this is the stator parameters and these are the rotor parameters so the emf induced in the rotor e2 equal s into e2 naught if rotor emf at standstill position is e2 naught so initial standstill position means how can we can tell that standstill position at the speed is zero then the rotor emf is e2 naught just take it as then the rotor emf we have a relation that is simply the emf is nothing but s times of e2 naught s times of e2 naught so how can we get, get this how can we get this so simple thing so generally the rotor at standstill condition the emf stator emf and rotor emf both are same what is the formula there the formula 4.44 into flux into frequency into number of turns number of turns e to not for example if rotor rotates with some speed the rotor rotated with some speed uh, ro rotor is with some speed then what is the e2 e2 value is we can write 4.44 into flux into the frequency then become rotor frequency and tau and finally how can we write this rotor frequency slip into starting frequency so finally e2 value equal slip times of this value 4.44 into flux into frequency into number of turns then we can write not e2 not sorry e2 the e2 value equal to s times of this value gives the e2 naught so e2 naught so this is the proof when he mentioned the he mentioned the rotor at the standstill position we will get the rotor emf is this value okay next next is here he given he given if the stator rmf stator rmf is rotates with the phi 1 rotates with the phi 1 then the rotor is rotates with the nr this is the rotor speed always nr the rotor speed ns is always keep in your mind stator rmf r rotor rmf both are same rotor rmf okay mm, next then in order to rotate the rotor rmf rotor rmf is rotate with the s times of ns s times of ns then the rotor rmf will rotate with the synchronous speed rotate with the synchronous speed so this concept will clearly understand when you are doing the problems okay so just we discuss a small problem regarding the speed and slip so here a four pole induction motor rotates with 1476 rpm so he mentioned the number of poles is four and this is the induction motor rotates with the speed he mentioned the speed means that is nr 1476 rpm and find out the slip for the motor and what is the slip formula slip is simply ns minus nr by ns is the slip formula so what is ns 
can we write the ns is like this ns equal to 120f by p but here he doesn't mention the frequency so uh, you know the indian frequency always 50 hz so we will not mention you can directly take the frequency is 50 hz then substitute this value ns equal to 120 into 50 by 4 for 30 times then the ns will become the 1500 then then the slips value equal like this that is 1500 minus 1476 by the 1500 then we will get the value of 26 by 1500 so by doing the calculation we will get the slip value is we will get the slip value is um, simply some value some constant we will get the some constant value okay so this is the procedure to find out the whenever he f given the rotor speed and the frequencies then you have to find out the slip value okay so in this session we discussed some important formulas and some important concept with that a small problem okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you